let's assume that you have a list of people here in a list. Now you could of course go ahead and iterate over each one of these inside of people like this for I and people and you could print line each one of these people inside of this list and this will work just fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, in fact, it, you know, many people probably do this day to day and it works. However, there is a more idiomatic way to do it in Kotlin and you can use the Kotlin collections to do that. So you say people dot, you can say for each, for each, for each here. And then what you can say is print LN and then you do IT. And that's basically gonna do the same exact thing for you. It's gonna allow you to iterate over each item inside of the array but allows you to say, hey, for each item in this array, do some particular function. Anytime I'm working with a list, a map, a some type of collection array or whatever it is, if it's a, in a some type of collection inside of Kotlin, I'll always wanna to prefer to use the iteration on the actual list itself. It makes it much easier. Unless I'm modifying the list and I need to do something with the list, then I might use a different type of uh, loop structure around it. But for the most part, for most of the operations I'll have, I'll prefer to use the actual, the each operator so I can iterate each over each one of those things and so forth. So another thing that you could do, I mean, you can also, as we've seen before, you can perhaps map these things together and say map, I could say a substring of each one of these things and it would be actually it.name.substring. I'll actually just take each person's name uh, and then I can do for each, and then I can perform some operation on that, and I could say something like it dot two uppercase. So I can kind of start chaining all these different things together. And as soon as I get one or two of these things in the line, I like to kind of drop them here, and then I might say uh, for each, and I can do, I can do a map on top of this. Actually, I can do a, another map here if I want to, uh, and then as soon as I have that list done and I want to do something with it. I can then do for each over it. Now for each returns a unit, which means it's just a unit. It doesn't return another map, which is why I was not able to add a map operator before. So if I wanted to do something additionally to this to transform these values, I would perform map here and say it dot to uppercase. Uh, and we can turn do this dot reverse. And if we ran this, we would see each person's name is uppercase and reversed. Oh, but we did not print it, which is the problem. And here, when we actually print it to the screen, we'll see everything here will be all the names reversed and uppercased in there. So again, if you're going to be using any of the Kotlin collections, I highly recommend using the for each operator to iterate over a collection. It's much more idiomatic and easier to read and actually less code.